Thank you. Well, unfortunately, it's the reality we live in. International or even domestic terroristic threats are always possible. But those are some of the realities that a highly specialized group has to deal with sometimes in law enforcement. And today they had some special training right here in the Big Ben. ABC 27's Ty Wilson joins us now live from the newsroom with more on this training. Ty. Greg, this uh, specialized group uh, used one of the dorms at FSU. That particular dorm is getting remodeled. So the special response team used that building for their training. We got an exclusive behind the scenes look at how this special unit prepares for the worst. If there's a terroristic threat or a major incident around the Big Bend, this is the team that will respond. These guys are getting shot at. They are uh, possible of, uh, there's a possibility of uh, improvised explosive devices in this, in this uh, target location. So they have to be mentally prepared and physically prepared at all times. And to stay sharp, members of the Regional Domestic Security Task Force response teams got together for some valuable training. Grand Campus Living has, has partnered with us today to let us uh, use their building in order to, to get the most realistic training that we can have. Uh, actually breaking windows and entering into broken windows. And then another secondary hard hit on that frame. It's training that we can't we can't pay enough for and we can't get enough of it because that's the real thing that we're going to do. Not, not every bad guy is going to open the door and let us in. And then the training intensified. The special SWAT team made up with members from Leon County, Tallahassee Police, Sewanee, Columbia and the Capitol Police did a live fire drill using simulation ammo to bring down their target. And in training, the more real you are, the better it's going to be for your training again because you have to train like you fight and you wear everything you're going to need that day. You use the weapons that you're going to use that day when you go out into, uh, into the real scenario. As you can see, the special unit is well prepared for any situation this region could face. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ty Wilson, ABC 27 HD.